kwa sana na kwaje eh fresh kabisa nadhani uh, kwanza tunashukuru kwanza kwa kufanya interview na wewe asante sana uh, labda leo tuanze kwenye exclusive na jukes unaweza kumuelezea jukes ni mtu aina gani kwako ah uh, jukes ni mshikaji tumemjua tume, tume kitambo sana yeye anafanya mambo za fashion pia tumeshafanya kazi nyingi pamoja na tumeshabadilisha mawazo na vitu kama hizi so kumsupport ni kitu muhimu reason ya wewe kuja leo kwenye king of art ni nini sababu tunajua ni designer mkubwa wa Tanzania mimi kwa kweli ni mpenzi wa bongo flavor na support wasanii wengi sana tunafanya kazi nao uh, entertainment Tanzania lazima entertainer mitindo zinaenda hand in hand pamoja bila mziki hamna fashion bila fashion hamna mziki so hizo zote mbili ni uh, vitu zinaendana pamoja sasa so, muhimu ku support kuja ku show love na vitu kama hizi labda tukianza labda na dress alio dress leo jukes unavipa asilimia ngapi wewe kama designer alipendeza alivaa full black black is always good for shuli kama hizi black is always works A, moja kati ya vitu ambavyo vimenistajabisha ni kwamba juu na ni diamond plaza amesema zuchu mke wake wewe ya, kama alimtula una nini la kuweka hapo kila mtu na, na maamuzi yake kampenda kampenda tumwache eh? andeni na maisha yake Uh, unahisi kwamba mahusiano yao watu wanasema kwamba yule ni boss wake zuchi hataki ku date na boss wake wewe una nini la kuweka hapo kwani nani kasema uruhusiwi ku date na boss wako kila mtu maamuzi yake bwana ukitaka kufanya chochote unafanya tu so unahisi kwamba ni sahihi mtu ku date na boss wake kabisa kama anapendana amekubaliana hamna haja mtu hajamlazimisha mwenzake so it's fine uh, laba tuende sasa kwenye swala zima la Jukes leo album yake naona uh, kuna moja kati ya vitu ambavyo ame dress leo code ambazo umezikubali kabisa uh, tumemwona nao pia Diamond amekuja ku support wewe unahisi ya kwamba kitendo cha Diamond kutokea kwenye hii ni kwamba anazidi ku, ku encourage Bongo Flavor zaidi wewe kama designer of course mimi naona kama anaona kuna opportunity kuna anawekeza ndani ya fani ya mziki e, anajua hii namlipa na nataka kujiongeza sehemu tofauti tofauti na kuwa support mengine kuna watu ambao wanatamani kuja kuwa madesigner wakubwa Tanzania wewe una nini la kuweka hapo kama designer mkubwa Tanzania kwa sababu kuna watu wanatamani kuwa katika level ambayo upo wewe unawashauri nini kwanza kabisa mitindo ni biashara watu wengi na wanaingia na fani wanadhani mitindo ni kuwa maarufu lakini lengo lao ni kuwa maarufu na sio kuingiza fedha so kwanza kabisa hii ni kazi una lazima uheshimu na ufanye kazi kimoyo ki wako unajua eh vitu vingine lazima uisomee kitu kama hii kuna mtandao kuna vitu kama hizi just soma uweze kuingia kichwa kichwa tufanye watu ha, wapo baadhi ya watu wa, wanaogopa sana kufanya kazi na madesigner wakubwa laba same mtu akitaka kufanya kazi na alimtula anatakiwa na kiasi cha shilingi mfano mimi kawaida sifanyaki kazi aina hiyo mimi kawaida office yangu kama Sage Chole Road napatikana pale muda wote wa designers wengi wanashakuja na wanakaa na mimi tunaongea tunashauriana na vitu kama hizi so i'm always available kuongea na watu wote ah ina maana mtu akitaka kufanya kazi na wewe anakuja ofisini kabisa ana labda tuseme mfano designing yako ambayo uh, unamshauri msanii uh, maximum labda kama anahitaji kutoa video atakwaje na shilingi ngapi ili aweze kufanya kazi na ile mtu mimi nimeanza kufanya kazi za music videos kitambo sana nilikuwa nafanya zamani sana sasa hivi na best sana zaidi kwenye biashara unajua unapoanza unafanya vitu tofauti tofauti lakini sasa hivi unajua uh, nimeshachukua uh, mitindo kama biashara so mara nyingi sasa hivi nafikiria na, na zaidi kibiashara zaidi so tunafanya mass production tunauza nguo dukani na vitu kama hizi lakini kustyle wasanii na vitu kama hizi hatufanyi sana labda ni msanii gani wa Afrika ambaye alimtula na angependa sana kufanya naye kazi kwa kweli nilitamani sana zamani sana kufanya kazi na Diamond nimeshafanya kazi naye mara nyingi tu kwa tangazo zake nyingi music video zake nyingi uh, tumeshashauriana tumeshaongea uh, wasanii ni wengi tu lakini ukitudana vulie labda Diamond alikulipa shilingi ngapi siku unafanya naye kazi eh haikuhusu <laughs> okay Ali watu waliwishi sana siku ya leo kumuona Ali Kiba hapo kwa sababu tunafahamu pia ni zero agent na washakuwa marafiki wakubwa sana baina ya Juxi na Alikiba lakini hakuweza kuwapia. Uh, kitu kama hichi pia watu wengi wamekuwa na comment tofauti kwa Alikiba. Uh, tunafahamu Ali ulikuwa uko karibu sana na Alikiba pia kwenye maswala kumdesign mavazi. Kwa situation hii ambayo imetokea na leo pia hajaonekana hapa. Kwako Ali unaizungumzia? 
labda kapata kazi zingine mimi mwenyewe nimealikwa naolika shughuli nyingi sana siendi kila sehemu inategemea na aina ya kazi na vitu kama hizi kazi zetu kila mtu anajua ni za usiku za jioni na mambo mengi sasa labda kapata zaurura siku kuonekana uh, imekuwa ngumu sana hali siku hizi wasanii kutoa album mara chache unasikia bwana anatoa EP uh, tumeona Juxi ameamua leo kujisacrifice ametoa album ni albamu yake ya pili uh, kwa kwa kweli unampa max ngapi kwa Jux kwa kweli amejitahidi unajua kwanza kabisa na mheshimu sana kwa kitu aliyofanya hapa ka kikubwa ni kualika ma presenters ma DJs kuwapa heshima ile na sio wasanii peke yake unajua eh? kwa sababu unajua kabisa clear clubs kila radio station kuna ma DJs lazima wa support wa supportiane ndio mziki endelee na yeye kajitahidi kufanya kitu kama hii leo yeah. <coughs> ali Tuzungumzie sasa industry nzima ya mziki. Najua ulianza kitambo sana miaka mingi sana hali na kufahamu uko karibu na wasanii wengi. Sasa hivi unaona thamani ya mziki wa Tanzania inaenda wapi? Kwa kweli ni, 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 ni kubwa sana sasa hivi. Ukiangalia wasanii sasa wanaheshimika, wana hela, wanajitegemea sio kama zamani. Na that's a good thing. Kuna kitu chochote labda za kumshauri kijana ambaye sasa yuko nyumbani huenda na alitamani kuwa kama juksi lakini hofu yake kubwa ni kupitia zile changamoto ambazo waenda juksi na alikutana nazo kipindi anaanza. Ali la mtulo ukiwa kama mwanamitindo na umepitia pia hizo changamoto. Una uwezo wa kumwambia kitu chochote kijana ambaye yuko nyumbani na amekata tamaa? Kwanza kabisa usikate tamaa. Uh, kufika popote sio safari rahisi. Mimi mwenyewe nimefanya kazi miaka mitano peke yangu bila ofisi bila msaidizi wote. Uh, na sasa hivi na ofisi kama tatu na wafanya kazi zaidi ya 40 na tutapambana lakini nimechukua zaidi ya miaka mitano nimepambana nimeasa nimepata daladala nimehangaika nimeenda kadi yako kununua vitambaa vitu kama hizi kila kitu lakini i didn't give up so mwisho wa siku lazima upambane kupambana na kila kitu kuna aslay wana amesainiwa kwenye label maana tuliona kuna ukimya fulani wa aslay so ni music amempa nafasi nyingine tena aliye mtula anamzungumzia je aslay aslay just ya familia sana nimeshafanya kazi na mara chache tu zamani sana so si, siwezi kusema chochote lakini kama kama kapata ofa nzuri ni kitu kizuri kwake hongera zake. Kuna yeah, wimbi la madesigner ma sasa hivi wamekuwa wengi. Kila mtu anajifanya kuwa designer, music video naye unakuta anajiamua kuwa stylish. Una nini la kuwashauri wasanii pindi wanapochagua madesigner kwa ajili ya nguo zao? Uh, kuna madesigner na kuna stylists. Uh, designers ni mtu anabuni mavazi, stylist na mtu anachagua mavazi. Stylist anaweza kwenda kwa designer tofauti tofauti anachagua mavazi, anamvisha msanii. Uh, mwisho wa siku nadhani msanii um, mwenyewe akishazindua uh, music video yake yeye anajua kabisa anataka muonekano awe kivipi yeye anataka kujua personality yake anataka watu wamuone kivipi so akishajua hiyo inamsaidia pia kuchagua nani anataka amvishe uh, kuna moja kati ya comment ambazo tuliona Zuchu aliandikiwa aliambiwa kwamba uh, Zuchu anaimba miziki ya kiutuzima lakini ana anavaa kama mtoto wewe kama aliremtula uh, una nini la kuweka hapo kwenye style style za Zuchu Uh, Zuchu hasta like pekee kwa kweli. Huwezi uh, kumlinganisha na mtu yote. Lakini that what that that is what namtafautisha na watu wengine. Sio yeye kaamua kabisa anaweza kanigiwe kama hivi na nitafanya kama hivyo. Ya yeah, wewe unahisi kwamba anachofanya ni sahihi? Yeye yeah, mwenyewe amefurahia so why not? Wewe unahisi kwamba ya kwamba the way ambavyo ana dress ni kama mtoto kweli? Si zani. I think she's fine. Uh, sasa la kumalizia malizia una nini la kuweka hapo? Ndiye sema tu follow your dreams and do what you want to do. The first question is going to be what can you implement the music industry in Tanzania? What can I implement? I think the music industry in Tanzania is doing very well right now. As you see before, zamani ukiangalia music video, there was no budget. Unaona kuna producer moja tu, director moja anaenda anaenda na video yake na camera yake ana shoot music video sasa hivi. Sasa hivi music video kuna makeup budget, kuna wardrobe budget, kuna album launch budget, kuna budget ya Yes, that means music is growing in Tanzania, which is a great thing for the industry. Can you give us a percentage that you've seen that growing from Tanzania right now? Say, unajua kuangalia tu hii utaona tu sasa hivi ma stylists wako ngapi Tanzania? All the stylists wanaishi kwa kazi ya wasanii. All music videos kill kwa kwa stylists tofauti tofauti. That means there's an opportunity for growth and it's growing tremendously. Gender between gender equality in Tanzania between musicians that are actually coming down in Tanzania that are actually growing in Tanzania what would you have a message for gender equality in Tanzania I think for that uh, I won't comment much I'll just say just do your best and you'll just stand out 
Would you prefer having a workshop and having everybody in the board to actually implement the women in Tanzania, especially Zuchu? It's just the famous, right? <coughs> what would you say about Zuchu? I think Zuchu is fantastic. She's, uh, she came out from nowhere and now she's all over the place. She's done very well for herself. Is it always about her dream or is it always about Tanzanians' dream? I think it is about her, her dreams and how she has worked hard for it. And what would you actually, if you had an opportunity actually to meet up Zuchu and tell about the gender equality, about the woman growth in Tanzania, what would you say about it? I just say, girl, do your thing. Sounds good. Thank you so much for this interview. Thank you.